Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad and welcome back to What's the Output video series on C programming language. So just like the previous tutorials, you guys can pause this movie and take a look at the source code which is here in the editor and try to guess the output of this program. Once you guys have an answer, just click on the play button, I'm gonna run the program and explain the output. So now I believe you guys have an answer for this program. I'm gonna build and run this. So it's gonna be build and run. And the answer for this program is gonna be i equal to one and j equal to two. So now why the heck we're gonna get the output like this. So in our program, we have used two variables i and j and we have initialized them with a value of two. And then we have this while loop and here in the condition part of this while loop, we have used a statement which involves the ternary operator. So here, when you use a ternary operator, first this thing is checked. If it is true, then this will be executed and the outcome of this is returned by the ternary operator. Else, if this one is false, then this one will be executed and the result will be returned. So here, our i variable is containing a value of two. So here, i plus one will be three. And in C, a value of zero is considered as false and any value other than zero is considered as true. So i plus one will be three and which is considered as true. Since this one is true, this one will be executed and the result of this one will be returned by this entire statement or you know this entire condition so i is containing a value of 2 you know here we haven't altered the value of i we just used it and i is containing a value of 2 so minus minus i is gonna be 1 so this 1 will be returned by this entire condition in c 1 is considered as true and that's why this while condition is gonna yield true so whatever the statements that we have inside this while loop will be executed. So it's gonna print out i equal to one and j equal to two. We haven't altered the value of this variable j. So after the first iteration, then again, this condition is checked. And this time i is containing a value of one. So here one plus one will be two. So again, it is true. So this one will be executed. i is containing a value of 1. So minus minus i is gonna be 0. So this entire condition is gonna return a value of 0. In C, 0 is considered as false. That's why this while condition is gonna fail and the statements inside this while loop will not be executed and then our program is gonna continue with the rest of the statements and finish its execution. So here in this program, this while loop is going to be executed only once. And that's why, you know, we're going to get the output like i equal to 1 and j equal to 2. So this is it guys. Hope you guys have learned something from this tutorial. Thank you for watching. And if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, just do it right now because whenever I upload new videos, you're going to be get notified. So once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.